Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. My name is Marnice Nicole and I'm an acrylic painter. And today, this is just a quick video because I'm in the studio. I actually have the day off today. Um, and I have so many little things that I want to finish by the end of the year. Like my kind of artist to-do list. And I don't really know what to get started on. I have like paintings to finish, sketches to develop. I have my Every Single Shade series where I really want to finish that by the end of this year because I still need to go through all of my drawers and find out all of the things I have. So I have that project in mind. And then I have these videos that I usually do at the end of the year. My uh, 2020 wrap up video that should happen about my art experience for the year especially this year as it is the year coming back from not painting in all of 2019 so I really want to do that video but I also want to do like a goals video and talk about the redevelopment of my art style but also the regression of my painting skills as a whole so there's so many kind of elements and like topics and videos I actually I have a whole list of video ideas, of painting ideas, and so now I'm sitting in the studio and I'm like, what do I work on now? I really, really want to paint. Like, I want to get my hands dirty, I want to pick up a paintbrush, and I have so many options that I actually don't know where to start. Like, that's an issue. I have eight hours today to paint. I don't know what to paint. I don't know where to start. And so I'm kind of just, now I'm just kind of just sitting in the art studio like, what should we do today? Like, that's really a question. And when you don't have a schedule for creating, these things happen. You draw a blank when you do actually sit down to paint. It's part of that regression. There was so much regression in my art skills. And actually, I could do a whole video about talking about art regression. Not painting for a year made me like reject the style that I had created almost. And I just kind of lost those like little indicators that made a painting mind. My whole thing about painting is that. I want my paintings to look familiar when you look at them. I want you to know, hey, Marnie's painted these. And so with a lot of my old work, the concepts are different, the styling is different, the mediums are different sometimes, but you could look at this piece, and you could look at this piece, and you could look at that piece, and I feel like you knew it was me. And that developed over the course of two or three years. From 2016 and 2018, I painted and I painted and I developed this style. And then I stopped painting for a year. And so I look around now with the stuff I made this specific year. And while I'm happy I'm painting again, while I'm loving that I'm artistic again and creative again, I don't look at my paintings and think, these look familiar. These are related. I know when I look at these that the same person painted them. And actually, I think my, my skill set has regressed even further than that because, for example, I always used to hate, in 2016, I've gone back and watched some of my old artist diaries, I always used to hate painting pretty pictures. I hated painting them because I felt like those paintings and those concepts had no depth to them, no depth to them, no like meat, uh, no like oomph to them. They didn't have really an expression, they were just a picture, which is fine, but it's not what I wanted to paint. If I was gonna paint something, I wanted it to capture a specific moment and to have a specific feeling. And I tended between 2016 and 2018 to paint like these emotional scenes um, and these striking moments of like isolation and there was a theme there uh, in the way the characters facial expressions in the paint strokes and the directionality of everything about the piece and the color choices there was a theme always when I painted it always kind of went to these uh, uh, themes of isolation, of uh, 
lostness um, of like strength and internal contemplation. And that may have been the mindset that I had over those years personally, but also it's just something I was interested in in a topic. And I saw so many ways to develop it in different paintings the more and more I grew as an artist between 2016 and 2018. And so sitting here today, I've painted so many pieces this year, starting with my self-portrait painting. And even that I look at it, it's actually right this way. Actually, we'll take a look into my living room past these doors and on that wall is my self-portrait painting but um yeah that's just a look into my living room really quickly um but yeah even with that painting I look at it and I'm like okay I really like two out of the three self-portraits you're never gonna be completely happy and I repainted one of those paintings so many times that <laughs> I was just like, I'm done. I can't move on forward with this. This has served its purpose. Um, but I don't actually think it did now that I'm looking back at it. I think that that self-portrait painting got me into painting. Again, it was one of those kind of key pieces of 2020 that really had me think, I still got it. I can still paint. I can still do this. But also, there was no real theme to that piece or any of the pieces this year, um, not more than a surface level, I wanna paint. And so 2020 has been the year of I want to paint, but I'm missing in my work and I've noticed the lack of in my work, the theme that connects the pieces so that when you look at them, you know that as a Marnie's Nicole piece, when you look at these pieces, you can relate them to something you can see the moment and feel the feeling and understand at a deeper level what the piece is about for example i just finished this piece right here that was maybe the video just before this i'll link it above this was my work from home piece i painted this specifically because there is an area in my office with nothing on the wall and that is not like me at all i decorate i decorate because I grew up falling asleep to HDTV. I love to like design things, throw an accent pillow here, rearrange this and make it feel homey and nice and very me, right? Very eclectic. And then this side of my office, this is a split space for me. I work from home. Um, well, everyone's working from home now, but I specifically have been working from home forever. So this was this side on this side here. This is my art space. We have my art supplies, my art desks, everything on this side. But on that side, that side is my office space. That is where office things happen and work stuff and corporate life. Um, but there's still a blank wall and I hate it. So I wanted to paint this piece. It's called Work From Home or Work Life Balance. Ah, that is the title of my piece because of course it is. I said it's done. I filmed a whole video about it, but I don't know that it's done. And it's because there's no deeper meaning to this piece other than it is a piece that represents office life so I can put it on my wall for the part of my office that is dedicated to work like there's nothing deeper there there's no theme of like a major feeling um even if it was a theme of I hate working from home and I want to be back in the office I would be more accepting of that because I feel like a lot of people are feeling that right now and that would have been a great theme, a great feeling to capture for your work, right? Because it's one, relatable, and two, it is something that has levels to it. Because you don't just hate that you were working from home and you missed the office. There is a safety issue that you're concerned with, right? There is the lack of community and connection because you're now isolated at home. There's so much that you could dive into and then make this relevant. And so now I'm struggling with this piece because it's done. There's nothing wrong with it. The three characters, the figures, they are uh, mostly done. Although, actually, I could probably make their makeup look better because we strive for more. We strive for more when it comes to makeup. Okay, we, we want to do the most and that's not, that's not more than surface level makeup. Everything is surface level right now. But... 
really the piece has no real feeling towards it in my opinion I know I'm very critical of my own work but like that's my prerogative <laughs> and so I'm sitting here and there ha there's these slight elements in the piece that makes me think I could build I could build on this and make it that theme but I don't know how to do that <laughs> I don't know how to do that and I also don't know that I have really the time to focus on that honestly here's the thing I'm doing a lot right I'm doing a lot we're all doing a lot but I'm not a full-time artist and right now especially when I haven't been painting I want to see results but that's counter productive to me wanting to see development in my art right so I'm struggling with do I still work on this piece that I feel like there could be a theme here if I just found a way to capture that moment in that that feeling and add it to this piece or is it just done and do I just put it on my wall or do I even come back to it later all of these things are a struggle for me. So I'm sitting here and I'm just like, okay, I'm in my office. I have eight hours. Well, probably closer to seven at this point, right? Because we're wasting time here. Um, but I have all this time and I have all of these projects that I want to do before 2021 hits us. And I don't know what to do with them. I don't know if I should sit here and redo this painting that I've already spent about 10 hours on and I think what four weeks on as well or do I just move on and work on something else because there are actually unfinished pieces in my office this piece I've been working on this piece for over a year two years almost now at this point and I finally found a reference photo of how I want the girl to be on the stairs that took me months to figure out how to fix this because my main problem with this piece is that the girl in the middle is ruining the piece for me I love the background I love the stairs but the girl I hate her I hate her so much so I finally have a concept for this I could start this piece and I could finally finish it after so long um, so there's that but there's also this big piece which my mom actually finally helped me work out how I want to finish this piece I actually did a digital uh, sketch concept art um, which I love still but in the actual painting process of course we move away from the sketch and the concept of course we do because we can't stay on target and so I've actually done what I thought and what I've struggled with for the whole year and given this a deeper meaning and so I have an idea and I want to add some animals in here and finally add the main girl and finish all of this obviously because the mountain is not even a third done so do I now start on this piece and work on this and get this finished so it doesn't end up like this piece that's been sitting for two years right I finished some pieces I finished this a couple of weeks ago it originally started off like this and then I brought it into my digital concepts uh, procreate app and did this to it and then I finally after again many weeks struggling got it to this point and I can say that this is pretty and I know why I haven't finished this I haven't finished this because honestly it's a painting about an actual relationship and um, I don't want to go in that headspace I don't want to I don't want to resolve those feelings in this painting because right now this is the most surface level there's no pizzazz to this there's just the couple and the background and actually the couple and the background they feel so separate and I said this was finished because I could say this is finished but to give it the development that it needed 
I would have to work through those feelings and put them on canvas and I, we're not going to do that. But um, that piece does not look like this piece, which is the most important piece I ever did between the 2016 and 2019 year. This is my most important piece right here. Because this has the development, this has the feeling, this has the style actualized, figured out in like aha moment. This was me after three years of painting. This was the style, this was what I represented. And then this looks like a complete regression to me. And it is, it is. One does not match the other. Where is the vibrancy? Where is the development, the styling, the contemplativeness, where is the color? I'm so known for color, or I was known for color. Even in the small amount of art shows that I did, color is always mentioned with me. It's part of my work. It helps to tell the story that I love about art. It helps. I am a color type of chick. This, this is me. And so, I feel like I've started from the beginning where I was painting pretty pictures and they didn't have that something that made them mine. And I don't want to paint that way. That's very disheartening and so I'm stuck in this place where, okay, I have time to paint, but I don't have the skill set to paint the way my head just naturally thinks. I naturally think and feel in terms of creativity a certain need for depth and a story and a theme. I think all artists do and it depends on what you're naturally gravitated towards and I feel that like I feel that but I'm like not actualizing it this year. I will say that I'm very proud of myself for getting back into creative uh, pursuits for getting back into painting. I'm, I'm a hundred percent so so thrilled that I finally gotten back into the urge to paint and to create and actually want to make things because that was missing for so long. It was missing for so long, but I'm not where I want to be yet. I really want to take the time to figure out who I am now as an artist and stop making pretty pieces because that's not what I'm about right now. Like I want to have a conversation and I want to provoke something with my art. Like this is not provoking. This is just part of a scene. Your eye won't settle here. At least mine doesn't. So anyway, it's something that I personally need to work on and I'm going to work on for the rest of the year. And for now, I need to figure out what I wanna work on right this second. So, thank you for coming through this conversational journey with me. I'm gonna try and get some painting done and then we'll have other updates. And so, my name is Marnice Nicole. This has been an acrylic painting, artist update, artist diary. I think we're well into like the 60th edition of this now. Are we? I'll put it right here. All right. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Marnice Nicole and I'm out. Bye.